Enter the wolf time. I'm the day man, not taking up a great joke on man's channel uh, for today. Um, yeah, let's go back with the shit, man. <laughs> hey, but here's this. Get in here. Get in spruce. You can mess around all over the place. Get in, bitch. Get in, bitch. Ha, 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 ha. Let's fuck with this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this shit, man? This is this is shit out of the way. <laughs> yeah, man. This is what the fuck's going on, man? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the what the fuck is this? Fuck, fucking fucking Necron Warrior. Fuck you, Necron Warrior. <laughs> I've been fucking with this shit so much. What the hell was that? Who the fuck are you? I'm the Boonhead, man. You're the what? The boner? Nah, man. I said the bone head. As in bone head, not boner. <laughs> Sounds pretty much like boner to me, mate. Anyway, get the fuck out of here, man. What do you mean, fuck off? This is my fucking room. You get the fuck out now, right? Fucking up. God damn it. Hey, what the fuck you doing, man? I ain't gonna get you. You're gonna rule the day that you kicked me out, man. Hey, where the fuck my fucking shoes? Get in my shoes back, goddammit! Keep the hell out of my room. Don't ever come back again. What the hell kind of a name is Boner, anyway? Seriously. Oh, on one last note. These are really nice shoes, so I'm keeping them. Oh, goddamn. Strange, skeleton-faced boners invading my goddamn house. Ugh. Anyway, ladies and gents, I hope you've had a uh, good week off from me. Uh, apologies for that. I was actually uh, seeing a load of friends, and also I was really, really hungover and tired on uh, the last Thursday. That's why I didn't produce a video. So for that, I do apologise. Okay, I'd like to start by just thanking all my new subscribers, all you lovely people. I've had probably about 10 subscribers. Uh, over the uh, the past uh, week, and I bet you're all probably wondering, hey, why hasn't he put out a video? Well, now you know, because I just said it just then. So yeah, really big wolfy thank you from the great Jojo Man here on Enter the Wolf Time. On today's episode, we're actually going to be looking at some old footage from, not last week, the week before when I did my Sin Eaters episode. This is like a little speed build kind of thing. Uh, not done one of those in a while, uh, because I couldn't find any music. However, I have found some music. They're a French band uh, called Pornophonique. And um, they do kind of like electro rock kind of stuff, and I quite like them anyway, so I thought, hey, might as well share them with you guys. Um, I'll put the linky linky in the doobly doo down below. Oh, another thing, they were uh, actually uh, royalty free as well, so I'm not going to get bummed by YouTube, hopefully. Awesome. So yeah, without further ado, I've not said this in a while, cue the high speed video montage. <laughs>
guys, the second thing I'm going to show you today, oh, they crushed an axe there. Big beastie double handed axe. Um, the second thing I'm going to show you today is actually the Sinita squad that I was doing. I've completed the build of them. So here they are. I shall uh, zoom in for you in a second so you can get all these bits out of the way. God damn, my desk is so hectic right now. I'll lay them all out for you, then I shall zoom in for on them for you so you can have a look. Uh -huh. Right. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's find the zoom. There it is. As you can see, they're all pretty standard conversions, really. Just basic arm swaps and repositionings, but I don't believe I've seen any other thing like it before. Um, so if you guys, you know, I mean, I could be wrong, you know, if you guys have seen anything like this, please let me know, please send me a link, and I'll have to have a look, and, and then I'll be upset because I haven't thought of an original idea. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, moving on, we have uh, the Justicar here. Added a few more things to him from last week. Basically, more purity seals, like over here, just because he's pure! Because he's a sin eater. He eats people's sins. I also made another Justicar with some leftover bits. And uh, I also got some uh, Dark Angel, not some, yeah, some Dark Angel robed legs from uh, Mr. Carlos. He was happy enough to provide them for me after I gave him a big load of uh, power fists. Uh, next we have the multi-melter guy. I'm really looking forward to painting this guy up because of the melter, not the multi-melter, what did I call it? I don't think I had a name for the uh, the weapon uh, last, uh, the, well not last week, the week before. Uh, I've decided to call this uh, the Ab Cannon or the Absolution Cannon or the Ab Gun or the Absolution Gun or something because it just sounds pretty cool. So yeah. That's the Sin Eaters. The second thing I'm going to show you guys, let's get these guys out of the way, is I've actually finished a trial or a mock-up colour scheme for them. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I know you are. Here he is. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, just brown and uh, gold on here, with some nice gradual shading on a green force weapon up here, which I was quite happy with. Uh, green eyes, nicely uh, lit in the back of his uh, hood there, which is quite good. You can't really see it on the camera, but I kind of gave these like gilded edges to the weapons. They've got like a bit of a gold dry brush over there, which kind of shimmers in the light, which looks quite good. Oh yeah, this guy's uh, called Tibod. I don't know why, I've just like thrown random letters together. Uh, the Ground Rex base, as you can see here, actually painted up quite well. I, I wanted to uh, make it like it was really dirty and really worn because it is like a cracked stone like temple floor. That looks uh, quite good. Uh, the gold effect is actually, right, um, I've used a slightly different undercoating method uh, to do this. Because I was thinking, well, a lot of it's gold and it's a ball like having to paint everything bestial brown with a brush and then you're having to paint gold over the top of it and then devil mud, blah, 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 etc, etc, whatever. Um, so what I did, I sprayed it with this uh, chocolate brown matte spray paint that I found in my garage. Um, and then from there, put the uh, bestial brown over the robes, uh, devil mudded them, then put some bad out black at the edges to make it look like it's dirty and smoke damaged. And then I painted shining gold over the top of it with a wash of chestnut ink, then dry brush shining gold over the top of it, and then washed it with devil and mud to dulled it down a little bit. I think it looks really, really well. Oh, also drilled the barrel out there of this guy's gun. But yeah, that's what they're all going to look like. Uh, however, they're not, they've not got a, uh, a chapter symbol yet. I think I'm going to uh, probably have to have a long, hard think because my free hand is pretty crappy. Okie dokie, moving on. We have this guy here. Now, you guys remember Brother Tears that I was talking about in the last episode? I was doing a commission for him. Well, commission's finished. This is Logan Grimnar commission I was doing for him. By the way, guys, I am opening the commissions business now, so if anybody uh, wants to get in touch with me about me building them something or making a completely original great Jojo Man model, Space Love model, or Orc, I do both quite well, um, get in touch with me. I'll put my email address uh, in the linky linky down below. In the linky linky? No, no, in the doobly doo down below. That's what I meant to say. But yeah, what have you got here? Let's have a look. Uh, sculpted some um, other hair over the top of him because he had a bit of a, a balding top going on. And the Logan Grimnar picture from the uh, Codex doesn't. Uh, give him some little fur lined greaves down here or boots, whatever you want to call it. Finished sculpting the cape, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, one of my favourite things about the model is the whole cape. His axe is made out of the, uh, obviously, the Terminator. Axe from the Space Wolf box set, and then two black orc axes uh, down here with a horned rat symbol with the uh, horns clipped off so it looks like a wolf head. Uh, that's how I did his uh, beastie axe. The power fist as well. I wanted to make this model go for like the classic Logan Grimnar look. Just the fact that I, don't, I really like the fact they had a gauntlet mounted storm bolter. He's one of the few models in 40k that has a gauntlet mounted storm bolter, and they've taken it away 
and the new Space Love Codex. But it can still be used because he still does have a Storm Bolter, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is the Storm Bolter off a uh, Dreadnought, basically just uh, glued to the uh, Power Fist. Uh, filed down a little bit, of course. The mag was up here, but um, me and Brother Tears decided it would look better hanging down there, so we did. We put it there. A bit of a skull on the end like that. And just the whole dynamic of the model just looks really, really nice. But yeah, as soon as I receive a payment from Brother Tears, he will be shipped and ready to go. Um, so yeah, anybody wants any commissions doing, get in touch. Email address is down below, and we'll sort something out. Give me an old school guitar, an 8-bit lo-fi porn star I promise that I'll take you to the paradise in hell And so again and again